No, no. You see, if you believe that Jesus, Isa, is a prophet of God, right? Just like uh, Abraham and uh, everyone, including the Prophet Muhammad. If you believe only God, Allah, is worthy of worship, one, that means you're a Muslim. Maybe, maybe I am. You are a Muslim. Maybe I am. No, maybe, bro, you are. Do you, if, do, this do you is what it is, yeah. In, in, uh, Moise, they, yes, of course we they, do. They, they, they went to heaven. Yes. Dying. We, do you believe that? we believe that. We believe they're on specific and they, and levels. Back. Yes. Yeah. Listen, 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 listen. I need to get you a Quran. I need to get you a Quran. Okay, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Still coming back to earth. Bro, listen. I need to get you a Quran. We got to get him a Quran. I told my wife, babe, keep some Qurans in the car because you never know what can happen. And guess what? Subhanallah. I told her, please, please keep some Qur'ans in the car because you never know what can happen. Brother Juan just is about to take a shahada right now, inshallah. Spark the conversation with him in an Uber. All right, sorry, I got a phone call. What are the chances in an Uber? Look at this Christmas tree. Subhanallah. In an Uber, just spark the conversation with them. All right, look. You see those $2 that you guys give for a free Qur'an? This is what it's for. You know, whoever donated that, this reward is coming to you. Whoever donated the Qur'an, this reward is coming to you. You have no idea what you're doing. SubhanAllah, may Allah increase you guys. Honestly, honestly, God, here. I'm here randomly in Boston. I'm in Boston right now. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Spoke to a person, SubhanAllah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought me all the way from New York City in an Uber over here to give this man a Qur'an. Literally dragged me, dragged me out of my hotel room. It's freezing out here, guys. It's freezing, okay? Drag me out just so this man can have a Quran. Let's not disappoint him. Make dua for this, brother. Make this dua. Make dua. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. All right, so this is not that same night. Before I tell you what happens in that evening with this beautiful, beautiful Uber driver, and please, please, please make dua for Brother Juan. Please do so. Before I tell you what happened at the end, I need to talk to you about how it begun. And this is the importance of da'wah. Now, a lot of times people think da'wah is, you know, perhaps uh, maybe getting a formal education. I want to let you know it's not. I'm not saying that education isn't needed. I'm not saying that education won't help you. It's more about how to convey the little that you know. You see, the Messenger Sallallahu told us to convey from him, to tell, to, to speak on his behalf, even if it's one ayah, right? Uh, some people would say it's the Quran. Some people would say it's the Hadith. You know, you tell me in the comment section below. Uh, but the point is to convey. And I might not be the most knowledgeable person, but I feel like when it comes to conveying something, uh, I have my own strengths and some weaknesses, obviously. So let me first tell you how it began. The reason I'm telling you this is because I want to start a Dawa 101 sort of program. It's not like an official program. I'm just going to make YouTube videos on how you can spark conversations with people. Like I could literally, if I wanted to, there's a brother right over there in a the car, right? I could literally walk up to him and spark an entire conversation. That's what I want to teach you to do, right? And within that conversation, you are Islam. You have, you have to understand, you are the ambassador of Islam. So even if you end up talking about freaking SQ, on, I'm, I'm unsubscribing right now. Oh, you got a Barca, a Barca hat. You think I even know a player on Barca? It just looks good. That's the only reason I wear it. God, come on, man. It's the swagger. It's the drip. That's it. You think I really? No. But maybe I do know a person or two. Yesterday it was Real Madrid, today it's, I know, I know. But it's okay, I'm in Boston right now if you haven't figured it out yet. You know, it's beautiful. Let me just show you really quick. Um, let me turn this. It's a, it's a new tripod. Thanks to all the Patreons. Patreons, thank you. Hold on, it's a new tripod. Oh. That's one side. And this is another side. It's on this side right here. It's the hotel I'm staying at. And this is me all over again. All right, let me tell you how it began. So I want to create a Dawa uh, workshop thing. Let me know in the comment section below if you think that's a good idea. Anyways, let's move on. Um, he's giving signal. He's giving away, mashallah. So I got in the Uber. Because you have to park your car. You're in Boston. You find parking. You leave it there. It's like New York. I'm in the Uber. And I see a, uh, a brother. Just, just a regular dude. Uh, with his mask on. I have my mask on too. Believe it or not. I have a mask and he had a beard right now 
I don't know how big the beard was, but all I could see was protruding through the face mask. You know the sides of the face mask? Okay. So I asked him. I said, man. I actually just tell him a statement. So look how I do. I start off with a compliment. I said, man, that's a really nice beard you got going on there. And then, he, and then he, you know, he's like, oh, thank you, whatever. But I, I, I really mean it, right? But whatever his answer was. But I immediately, because I, it's not my intention, but it sort of is. Like, to talk to people about Islam is my intention. So I guess, I guess I'm sort of, like, leading the witness into where I want to go, technically, right? So I, I guess I could see how a person might think, oh, what's Q's going on here? You know, like, because there's those, like, Christian people who come from, like, David Wood's page and all that. They come into uh, this, uh, this community and they want to say, oh, there we go, uh, promoting his, I don't know, you know? The point is this. I said immediately, hey, I, you know, that looks like actually you have a Muslim beard. He laughed because he understands. You see, everyone knows what a Muslim beard is, right? It's pretty common. He said, oh, he laughed and he pulled off the side. He's like, no, it's short. I said, oh, man, you should try growing out. He's like, you know, I'm trying. I'm trying over here. And I said, you know, it's more important about what the, the intention of growing it because if you grow, it, you'll just cut it. So the question is, why are you growing it? If you grow it with the right intention, it'll stay. So immediately, right, I caught his attention. Does that, does that make sense? Immediately I caught his attention. Like, it's important to grow the beard, but why do you want to grow it? You know? And then he asked me, and we said something. We connected over something really nicely. Hold on one second. I got a phone call. This is my wife. Hold on. Say that again? Yeah, you think so? Okay, then maybe we got a ticket. It could happen. I, I don't know. It would probably be between the 7.30 and the uh, 8 o'clock one. Did you, did you renew it? I think I did. I renewed it on your phone. Hi, beautiful. I renewed it on your phone, so it must have... The, j the, the, the jig is up, okay? That's all it means. The jig is up, okay? It didn't work. That's what it means. You get me? So if it is, it is. It is. It is what it is. It, okay, inshallah, look, 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 look. If it is a ticket, it is a ticket. We got it because of our own mistake, and it's just a, it's a, it's a gift from Allah, nonetheless. And we saved eighty dollars, so it doesn't really matter, huh? Okay. So maybe maybe they're just making some quotas right now. It's okay. Let them give a ticket. Let them give a ticket. Thirty dollar ticket, we'll pay it, inshallah. Not a problem. It's our own mistake. No point of uh, you know being upset about it. It happens. Okay. No, that's okay. Should be fine. Inshallah, we'll be okay. And if we did, we did. It just it is what it is. Okay, John. Let me let me finish this video. My hands are freezing. Okay, I love you. Bye. So I'm walking up to my car and I see that there's a ticket right over there. Now I have two choices right now. I could either react to this or I could respond to this. And that's what Allah is testing me right now. He's testing to see, am I going to react to this or am I going to respond to this? See, reacting is just like, oh, my day is so harab. And, mm. Responding is like, oh, man, it's my fault. The meter was out. I should have known better. Own your mistakes. No excuses. Don't lie to yourself. Even if, even if we're not talking about Islam, even if we're not talking about Islam, right? We started talking about something else. We, I, start, I learned more about him. You see, and I think that, I'm sorry about that. I had a phone call. I had to go do that. I learned more about him, okay? So what I did after those moments of, um, you know, speaking to him about the Muslim beer and all that, it was just a quick touch. I just like, you know, I just like... Through the, you know, just threw it in the water, just threw it in the bait, you know, to see if if it lures, you know. I'm not catching machi over here, but you know, you know, you gotta you gotta practice. So, this is what I do, okay, guys. I, I don't think you know or realize this. If I see anyone, if you are in a proximity of me, not them, they're walking around, right? They're walking away from me and all that sort of stuff. But let's suppose we're stopped and waiting for the elevator together. I'm gonna say something to you. I'm going to say something. It's simple as that. I'm going to, I'm going to say something. 
simple. Muslim, non-Muslim, doesn't matter. I'm going to say something to you. Whether I'm just greeting you, whether it's something, but I have to make sure your ears heard my voice. It's just what it is. And it's not because, you know, for any like egotistical reasons. It's because it keeps me sharp. One, it's the right thing to do. Islamically, it's good because people need to know that you come in peace. What does assalamu alaikum mean? What does it mean? You're, you're coming... You're, you're coming in peace. It's like, you know, when the aliens land and they're like, we come in peace. It's like that. We're coming in peace. There's nothing for you to worry about. There's nothing for you. That's why you can't even say assalamu alaikum in, in a rude or mean manner. How can you come aggressively with peace? It's weird. Hello, guys. How you doing? Hey, how's it going? Oh, cute baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Bye, baby. Bye. His face is freezing. He's like, oh, get me out of here. <laughs> Take care, guys. Safe travels. Safe travels. You see, that's what I'm saying. It's just, it's just in me. It's in me. I, ha I have to, I have to speak to people. You know, and it's not. I, I love them. You guys don't understand. I love them. I want good for them. I wanted to tell them to make du'a, because the du'a of a traveler. Do you think they know about that? They don't. Tell. Do Christians know about that? Do Jews know about this? Muslims do. We know about the intricacies of when it comes to life. Islam has the answers. Anyway, so I started talking to Juan about it. So I need to go inside, guys. It's freezing right now. I need to make this quick. Okay, so I started talking to Juan. Okay? And he, I, I asked him about children, so on and so forth. He's like, he has like three or four children. MashaAllah, may Allah increase him. And then um, he told me, you know, about his, uh, how old the children were. And... <laughs> What's up? You okay? You need some help? I do. Do you need some help? Huh? I'm a YouTuber. YouTube. Yeah. You make money doing that shit? I make some stuff. I need some help. You ain't got no ch What is that? Yeah? The the word is the word is the word is the word is you welcome. I love you man. Take care. Assalamu alaikum. Much love. Much love. God bless you. Privileges, man. Privileges will kill you. You're not privileged. Oh, Muslims. Oh, as long you know, there's people who become arrogant, thinking that this deen needs them. You're privileged. You know who was privileged? Bani Israel. Look what happened to them. We can't be privileged, bro. We have to earn every single dollar. Every single thing we do, we earn it. So I started speaking to him. He opens up to me about the two... You know, spouses he has. So I don't want to get into the details. That's between me and him, you know. But the point is, he opened up. He opened up to me and all that. And we said something. I can't even remember what it was. But it was so genuine because I was actually listening to him. And that's another tip. Well, so I'll make these videos, inshallah. I was actually listening to him. And I said something in regards to his situation. Maybe even gave him some advice. And he asked me immediately, what's your religion? He asked me. I said, I'm a Muslim. Oh, Okay. You guys, I believe in, uh, you guys don't, and this is a common thing, you know, oh, you guys don't believe in God, you guys believe in Allah. That's what, you guys don't believe in God, they don't understand. It's, it's, it's our, it's our mission, it's our, uh, you know, motive, our goal in life to explain to people what Islam is. Isn't that, this is Mecca. This is Mecca. This is modern day, right here. Oh, Mecca. I stuck for all the calling a nation. That's not... No, what I mean by Mecca, they have idols. The idol worshippers, aren't they? Right? If the idol isn't a, uh, you know, uh, as uh, what was their names? Those those uh, lot those idols' names. If it isn't that, it's money. It's their careers. I'm in Boston. I'm in downtown Boston right now. People were. This dude had no jacket on. He was rushing to work. They're worshipping their, their, their jobs, their careers, their monies. You know? It's modern day. And what happens? You have the message of Islam to help them change their lives. But the question is, how do you get their attention? That's, that's the truth. The Messenger of Islam was amazing at getting attention. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him such an amazing, incredible presence. The presence of the Messenger of Islam was beautiful. Anyways, he asked me. I said, no. I explained, I said, no, no, no. The God that you're talking about is Allah. That's His name. Allah. He's not a man. He's not a woman. He's not a, you know. Come on. It's Allah. Al-Nur. 
right? He's a light. He's a, I, you know, I use the word energy source because it, it helps them understand because they get it. They understand it's a being that has no shape that we can understand. People, it's, it's a hard concept. And I say, yeah, and we believe in Jesus. Wait, you guys believe in Jesus? Yes. We're, we're catching their attention. Like, yes, we believe in Jesus. We're, you know, we're shocking. Yes, of course we believe in Jesus. Okay. How? How? What do you mean? I said, we believe that Jesus was sent by God. We do not believe that Jesus was God. He said, interesting. I said, yeah, we believe that Jesus was sent by God. And Juan is just like, okay. Uh, you know, and he's not saying, I said, we do not believe that God has children. He's like, okay. He said, I, I don't, he said, I believe like Jesus is like Abraham, Noah. This is what he said. I said that's exactly aligned with what the Muslims believe. Exactly aligned. He said, really? I said, yeah. I said, do you believe? I said, and do you know how I know all these things? He said, how? I said, it's in the final testament sent to humanity, which is the Quran. To the last and final messenger, Muhammad, uh, and peace and blessing be upon him, who was a brother of all the following and was a... Listen, and this is where the Israelites... Wait for that video on, uh, on Sunday. That's why they said Muhammad is not a brother of Jesus, subhanAllah. Why? Because they be believe uh, Jesus and all of them, they come from the sons of Isaac, right? From the Isaac side, and we're from the Ismail side. And the Ismail side is lower, subhanAllah. These people, bro, they're disgusting, racist people. Racist people, subhanAllah. What a racist. Ugh. What a racist. What a racist group of people, subhanAllah. No, that's not the people. There's children in there. Children aren't racist. They're learning that filth from the parents. Wait for Sunday video, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I need to go in, guys. Video's getting long. I said, he was a series. There was a series of messengers, and he is amongst the series of messengers. He's the final messenger in a series and a line of messengers. And this is the Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Mm. And this was given the Quran. And immediately I said, this is, this is what Islam is. I said, this is what we believe as Muslims. If you believe that there's nothing worthy of worship except God, Allah, and you believe the Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of God, because this is where I'm getting my resource from. I said, where am I knowing all this from, bro? And I said that it's from the Quran. I said, then this is it. You're a Muslim. He said, maybe I'm a Muslim and I don't even know it. Maybe, maybe I am. You are a Muslim. Maybe I am. No, maybe, bro, you are. Do you, if do, this do you is what it is, yeah. In, in, uh, in... Yes, of course we do. <laughs> maybe I was a Muslim. I don't. This is his own words, not SQ. Okay? And that is when I pulled out my phone and started recording because I didn't want to record because I felt like it would have been. Like, it, I didn't, I didn't encounter it too. But what he said, I realized when he said that I might have been Muslim, that I had to record that part because he is like most common people. They don't know. They didn't realize they were Muslims. And that's what could happen to Pretty Boy Fredo, right? All the reverts out there. Tell me if this isn't true though, right? That when you become a Muslim, you feel like you were already doing certain aspects of it already, believing in certain aspects already, because it's in your fitra, your, it's in your DNA, your nature, okay? And that's when I started doing that. So what happened at the end was very simple. I took the Quran, subhanAllah. I took the Quran and I walked over and I gave it to him. Juan was there. His car was there. I didn't take out my camera because this was a private conversation between me and Juan. I gave him the Quran and I told him, I said, look, my bro. I said, Allah dragged me from New York to Boston. I, had, I said, I had no reason to be here. Really. Dragged me for one main purpose and was to give you this book. What are the odds that you'd be driving some stranger from New York? Okay, maybe someone from Boston, right? Maybe. But from New York who's just here right now, what are the odds? He said, slim to none. I said, it's from Allah. This was from Allah to give you, hand deliver a copy of the Quran to you. He said, it's from Allah. He said, I'm a Muslim, I don't even know it. So I said, look, my bro, it's an English copy of the Quran, read the Quran, and you're going to see a pop-up over here, $2 to donate, sponsor Quran. Those who donated, just know that you got the reward for it. Simple as that. 
You think $2 that you're donating or the $5 because when you go on launch code, the minimum you have to donate is $5. I'm sorry about that. There's nothing I can do about that. I really am sorry. If you read my uh, YouTube comment uh, post, you'll see that I'm actually very, very sorry about that. But I'll tell you this right now. Um, if you're donating, it's not like a skew, but who donated that Quran, bro? Your money is going into making the paper for these books. You understand? Like the $2 isn't for like a Quran only. It's like the printing material. It's for the glue to put a book together. You don't understand in every single atom there's a reward in this Quran project, bro. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Those who've donated, thank you. Those who sponsored the Quran, thank you. You're not just sponsoring someone's guidance, bro. Like your money gets invested in every atom of that entire process to spread the message of Islam and to promote a Quran. You know what I mean? So it's not like, because someone might ask like SQ, whose Quran $2 might, you might think like that. That's not how you gotta think. The $2 is not just only allowing for a Quran to be published. It allows everything to process and happen. You understand? I hope that makes sense to you guys. Anyways, that's how the video ended and, and, and this video ends and that's how that ended, right? That was the experience with him, man. And he's a good brother. Make du'a for him. Make du'a for him. You know, and may Allah increase you guys. And thank you so much for watching. And it, it really does mean a lot to me. You know, it really, it, it means a lot to me. Uh, may Allah SWT increase you all and warm up all of our hands and our hearts and allow us to be good to one another and to take risks and speak to people. Speak to them. Just like, there's nothing to be afraid of. And I think that my series is going to help because I want to teach you conversation skills or some type of skill set or way to approach people to talk to people how to spark conversation with people tell me what would you like to learn right what do you think that there's certain things that i'm really good at doing that you feel like you know what sq like this is something i would like to learn how to do as well someone said that they want to learn how do i like uh put the videos together you want to see a tutorial of how i edit videos i'll put that up whatever you guys want right whatever you think that would be helpful for you your 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 future your well-being whatever you need right let me know i'll do that for you right if you want me if you feel like there's a specific skill set or something that i do really well or you want to see how i do that let me know i'll make a video specifically about that but i do feel like it's going to be a time where i need to show you how to spark conversations with people right because yesterday's conversation i had with a french woman like about france and how they treat muslims honestly I don't think people living in France had such a meaningful conversation about race and religion as much as I did in just like 30 minutes with this lady. And, and this is not to boast or anything. This is just to show you that you can make meaningful bonds with people. Oh, her shoes are squeaky. That means there's moisture in the soul. When the shoes are squeaky like that, it means there's moisture in the soul. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. My mouth is dry from all the speaking. I know yeah, some guys are like, some people are like, oh, yeah, are not you're not Bol bol ke, takio sun ke. That's what, that's my wife says all the time. Banda bol ta bol da. I'm coming up over here, and just here to tell you that I love you and appreciate you. Uh, thank you. Each second that you watch, I pray that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala unites us in paradise for those seconds that we spent together. If you've somehow left a comment, watched my video, seen my face, man, I want to see your face. The fact that you spent any moments even with me because you know Allah is going to question about this time you understand that right like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will question us about the time of how the son of Adam spent like we won't be able to move on the day. you know SQ brother SQ do move both karta, huh? SQ you're always moving your brother SQ won't be able to move on that day you know how I can't stand still on that day I'll stand still so those of you who are hating on me SQ you're always moving around why are you always walking around SQ Hi, you, why he's always moving around because there's going to be a day when I can't move I'm going to be firmly planted in front of Allah Allah's going to question me about how I spent my time and one of the ways I spent my time was making these videos editing these videos and yours is going to be watching these videos and I pray that each video each second reinvigorates you to remind you that you're a Muslim and you got to be the best version of yourself and you're going to meet Allah and I pray 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 if that's what I'm doing that means we're best of friends because that's the definition of a good friend and I believe that we will be with those that we love on the, uh, in, in paradise so I pray that you love me because I genuinely, genuinely love you. I genuinely love you. Um, thank you so much for watching. I, I got to go check if I got a ticket or not. Um, but until next time, I'm out.